Good morning guys and welcome to Sunday. It is super windy out today. If you can't tell, just look at my hair. Anyway, uh, yesterday I posted a video and I showed you guys how Sam seeded the field. It is June. You usually, feel it see usually you seed the field a little bit earlier because rainy season is almost over. But I wanted to show you guys this. So we seeded this lawn. Actually, it doesn't look as nice in the camera. But we seeded this lawn last July, July and August, and it didn't look very good. It didn't come up very well until this year. So I have faith in our, in Sam's planting. There's some patches here that I think could obviously use a little bit more seed. So I'll do that. But I think by next spring, our field will come up better than ever. So update on our baby birds. Take a picture and send it I to can't. me. I can't, it doesn't work. Oh, really? It's adorable. Let me show them. Oh, it's hard to see. Inside that little hole are a bunch of baby birds. And every time they hear us come in, they squawk like crazy. All the way, I can feel their little bodies. That's so funny. I'm sure their mom is like, Thank you for waking up my babies. <laughs> this morning I told Sam, because he lets the horses out in the morning and I do the goats, I said, put the horses together this morning. Let our gorgeous boy back in the herd and see what happens. I told him to separate Penny and Willow, lock them into the dry pasture. And did he listen to me? Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, he locked Penny and Willow in. But he didn't add these two to Lady and Honey. So today, Sophie is going to practice her poles and see if Lady is ready for a show. Obviously, she's not going to be like perfect because she still needs to learn to relax a lot. She's doing a lot better though. Like just casually riding, she's relaxing a lot. I know, they're best friends. Well, that's her baby. I Everyone know. wants that thing as a baby. I know. Everybody is adopted, honey. I can't believe how beautiful it is. It's such a beautiful story. But do you want to hear another beautiful story? <laughs> Hi, baby. So this is the story of Posey the pig, the pot belly pig. You guys know that I got Posey. I can't remember if I got her in March or if I got her in April, but I think I got her in March as a two month old little pot belly pig. And we knew she was always going to be on our farm and live on our farm. but. It was still way too cold out in, in Canada where we live and we knew she needed to stay in the house with us until she grew big enough and it grew warm enough for her to be in the barn. So uh, over months she grew and she bonded with us and we loved her so much and we bonded with her and she was amazing in the house but it was hard for her to just be in the house all the time because she needed to be out and acting like a pig. She needed to be rooting around and looking for food and doing all the things that pigs do. When the time finally came for me to put her in the barn, I was so sad and so stressed about it. I was like so worried for her and like, I was mostly sad that she would be lonely and that she'd be sad. And so I told her like, go out there and find where you fit. And I feel like that's what the story of life is. Our parents send us to school and they send us out there and they say when we're little, go out there and find where you fit. And first she tried out the horse barn, so she'd sleep in her stall at night and I'd let her out. And then she'd go running every single morning to the horse barn and there's a little area there and she would sleep with her blankets and she'd have her water there and she would travel around. And she, I don't think she fit there. And she would always hang out with the chickens. So she tried the chickens and the chickens were really gentle and she liked that the chickens were gentle, but she didn't really fit there either. So fast forward to another one of our animals who doesn't fit into her flock. We have this little renegade chicken that doesn't want to be a chicken. She doesn't like the fact that there are roosters in the, in the flock. She doesn't like the rooster. She doesn't like what the roosters try and do to her. She hates all of that business. So this little chicken moved down to the, to the goat barn and she found happiness with the goat. It's the craziest thing. We've taken her back up a million times and put her in the coop and every single time she makes her way right back down to this goat barn. Anyway, so she's lived down here kind of on her own. The chicken, the goats all have friends. They're all kind of paired up into their own little family and she lives beside them happily. They don't bother her. She doesn't bother them. 
But then one day, her and Posey met up. This little renegade chicken who wasn't happy with her life and little Posey who wasn't happy with her place in, in the world. And they met up and both of them are gentle souls. And I think the reason that they don't fit where they belong is because I feel like the reason that they don't fit in other areas are because they're both so gentle. And they're so gentle and they love one another. Every morning I come down and that little chicken is sleeping with Posey all cuddled up in her blankets with her and they share Posey's food. Every morning I feed Posey the pig. You guys know what pigs are like. And Posey, Posey shares her food with the little chicken. The chicken stays with her all night and she doesn't go out until each morning. So Posey found her place. So Posey stays over here in the boy goat area because the girls are mean to Posey. Right, Pose? And the chicken spends her days over with the girl goats. And then every single night, they meet up in Posey's stall and they sleep together and they find happiness in one another. It's such a pretty story, such a beautiful story. But most importantly, is that it's the same for all of us. If you're not fitting where you are, keep looking. You will find the place that you fit. And I hear stories all the time from people who are unhappy with where they are in life and then suddenly one day they find the place that they belong or they find the people that are meant for them. He's gonna be too big for you soon. Yeah, he's gonna be too big for you soon, Sophie. Little baby Winston grew up. <laughs> he's mad about it too. <laughs> yeah. He just wants to be able to fit on your lap. That's his favorite place. It's your favorite place, isn't it? I wish you would want to, <laughs> he just looks at me once. He's like, I know exactly what you're trying. You want to get me. I wish you would let me hold you. Hi, baby. He's like, nope, no chance. You're like, you're gonna want to keep the other babies once they're bored, but no, I still want to keep them. Yeah, I thought Sophie would want to keep every baby that she had, but it was just him. Just the bond between them. Yeah, I know he's so cute. You know who's not sweet? You. <laughs> uh, he had a collar on, but he resisted that. It's because his mom and dad were both really friendly. Yeah. But he's like his mom's first. This guy's life. owner said that she held him all the time and that he was super friendly. He just hates us. He just hates us. <laughs> he's so cute though. That's it. The best I could do for now. Walking on cloud nine. I've been a fool to live without your love. It's like I've been waiting around for you. Why did you take so long to come to me? Maybe you were waiting around for me too. So She 
is bouncy. But no, if I'm falling off and I hang on with my one leg, she goes. So, so she was telling me that if she's about to slide to the side, she hooks her leg underneath Storm. Storm stops. What does Lady do? She goes. She just keeps going. Stop moving it. So, uh, Sylvie wants to get a new bareback pad. It's on her birthday list or her, oh, actually she has something else she wants for her birthday. So it's on her Christmas list, right? Birthday. Birthday? Yeah, I also want, um. It's better to get a bareback pad for your birthday because you can still ride. Yeah, but I want, um, like Gabby's headphones too. You want Gabby's? For when we go on walks. So Gabby and Sophie have been walking every night and it's been amazing. They like it to walk when it's dark, which is dangerous, but they love it. It's literally storming somewhere. It's, we're getting the storm without the rain. We did actually have a little bit of rain, but it's wild out. Sam is out cutting our trail for us. Oosh, she looks raring to go. As devoted as Sophie is to bareback riding and how much she loves not it. Not in the wind, okay? Not in the wind. And plus she's getting ready for a show and she wasn't able to let her move forward. <laughs> Look, she's like, well, where are my treats now? <laughs> We've trained her well. <laughs> that was only just a little job, lady. Look at her brow band. Isn't it beautiful? Sophie got that long ago at a show. At a horse expo. That's what I meant. I like a horse show. Like not a horse show. A horse expo. A horse expo. And she got it and now she has a horse to go with it. And it matches her so beautifully. What about for Stella? Yeah, you got it for Stella. I'm gonna have so much better balance in this. this lady didn't really know poles before and Sophie's done poles with her and she didn't she just went over them. She was swervy. Before she was swervy and now she goes over them without thinking. And she reaches for them, right? Yeah. Welcome to that. Thank you. 